Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, October 14th, would you believe this is National Dessert Day? Come on, every day should be National Dessert Day, all right? But here's what we're gonna make today, all right? I want you to do something with pecans. Instead of making a pecan pie or something like that, I want you to do something nice, simple, something a little different. Let's make some pecan bars, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a crust for it. Now there's all different type crusts we can make, all right? So today I'm gonna to do a shortbread crust. So basically in the food processor, what I'm gonna do, we have three quarter cups of flour. I have a quarter cup of cornstarch. I have a half a cup of sugar, about a half teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna get all of this in And you see I have the blade in because I just want to pulse this right quick. Now, I've just pulsed it for a second. And we just want to pulse it just to get it mixed in. And cold butter, I've cut the butter in cubes. Basically, we want to pulse this to where it looks like little pebbles, okay? And, and don't worry, it may look a little dry, but that's all right. Because what we're going to do, we're going to take our crust and press it down into the pan, all right? Now our pan, I've used parchment paper or you could use foil. Notice I've lined both sides two ways because this way, once these are done, it's easier to help pick them up by doing that. So I sprayed a little bit to hold the parchment down. Now I sprayed the inside of the pan. So let's go ahead and get our crust made. Now, guys, our butter is mixed in. And you can't see it really good, but it almost kind of looks like Parmesan cheese, actually. So remember, this is gonna be a little dry. So let's take this, all right? Always, always be careful with your blades. We're gonna put this into our pan here. And we wanna spread it out and press it down, okay? Now you can use a measuring cup to do this with. I'm just gonna use the back of my hand. Make sure you get in the corners. The idea is to try to get it fairly even. Now, I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees, but before this goes in the oven, we wanna put this in the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes. The reason we wanna put it in the refrigerator for 10 or 15 minutes, that way that butter will firm up, this will solidify, and then we're gonna bake it off for about 15 to 17 minutes. So let's go ahead, now that this is pretty much even, see how easy that was? And that's okay if it looks a little dry. All right, so let's go ahead, get this in the refrigerator, then we'll go ahead and bake it off, and I'll show you how we're gonna make our pecan filling. Now, you can see I've just taken our crust out of the oven, and so let's go ahead and start working on the filling. And it's okay, if this if our crust is still warm so what i have i have a stick and a half of butter okay which is roughly about 12 tablespoons now here's an option for you i have three quarter cups of packed brown sugar now i'm using a combination of light brown and dark brown you could just do light brown you could just do dark brown totally up to you but i like the combination the dark brown has a little more of a bit of a molasses flavor into it. So we're gonna get our sugar in. And here we have three tablespoons of honey. I have about a teaspoon of vanilla and a good pinch of salt. That's what it is right down in there, that's a salt. So let's go ahead and get this in. Now, basically what we want to happen here, we need our sugar to dissolve. So we need to bring this up to a boil, uh, just roughly, roughly, just for a couple of minutes. But the most important thing is for our sugar to dissolve, and once we get our sugar dissolved, then we could go ahead and get our cream and the pecans in. You can see how this has come to a boil. So let's go ahead and turn the fire out so our sugars dissolve. I like to make sure I work the edges of the pot just to make sure. Now, 
three tablespoons of heavy cream. And this is where you have to be careful because when you're putting that cold cream in, see that? That steam comes up like that. So always be careful when you're putting the cream in. So I've taken three cups of pecans. Now I've given them a rough chop, okay? You can chop them fine. You can chop them in big chunks. I have a combination here of some pieces are bigger than others. But look, see, we just mix this in. And now all we need to do is we're going to pour this right into our pan. I was doing it this way so you guys could see it coming out. Be like, what is he doing? Now, I'm just going to spread this out. You can see my pecans, some are bigger, some are smaller. All right. So I didn't turn the oven off. Oven is still on. And now it's going to go in 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Okay. So let's go ahead, get this in the oven for that 15 minutes. It's just come out of the oven and I said it had a cool, but look how good this looks. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? Now, I want it to totally cool before I try to cut it. And you see, this is why I have the paper both ways to make it easier to come out. What's nice if you make these, once they cool and you cut them, you could go ahead and freeze them for a few weeks if you want. But you tell you what, I don't think they're gonna last that long. So how about a great way to celebrate dessert day? Or make it every day a dessert day. Thank you so much for cooking with me today. Stay safe, keep washing those hands. For WWL-TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and we'll see you soon.